I see. <laughs> Hello, Jet. I'm Star York. This is um, my studio and my home on our ranch that is just south of Abiquiu, a little area called Tierra Azul. I'm a sculptor. I start my work at clay, and uh, this is the studio that I create my pieces in. I want to try to accomplish something that really expresses the essence of a piece or the essence of a creature, the essence of an individual. I do think it's important to experiment with different approaches because so often you can get too involved with trying to make uh, an animal or human, whatever, that you're trying to sculpt accurate that you lose the, the artistry that you need to bring to it to make it a fine piece of art. Um, I don't think it's ever a good idea to sacrifice artistry for accuracy. The original Cocopelli was probably a Toltec Indian that came up and did trading with uh, the people from Chaco Canyon, uh, the, the local uh, indigenous tribes. My guess was that he was probably um, quite appealing to the ladies, <laughs> charming. So that's why I um, had fun creating the character. The horse design, again, is very similar to um, designs done by uh, North American Indians, particularly in the Northwest, on teepees and on buffalo robes. But um, the designs within, the tattoos within, are um, from a lot of the research that I did in, um, in New Zealand with uh, the Maori. This piece is a piece that, um, one of the pieces that came out of my month-long study in New Zealand of the Maori culture. And um, it's of a, a, a chief who has a full face tattoo. And um, I was particularly drawn to this image from, that came from old archival photos. Uh, because I felt that um, the tattooing made the face look so fierce at first, but then when you, you look at his face, there is so much, when you look beyond the tattoos, there is so much um, dignity and, um, and I think uh, even an element of, of kindness in his eyes. I came here for the foundries, not for the culture. But what I found was this incredible um, source of inspiration in the varying cultures and in the, whether it was Indian, Hispanic, or, or even the, the ranchers.